Is any of this request to recoup the 1.3 of overtime that you've talked about, or the additional expenses you've talked about? No. No. So no. this is this potential is new funding that they're requesting. So what is that going to be? Let's plan for that and what that's going to be. Split. Since in the description it does refer that the ongoing operation is anticipated to continue for an extended period. So can you explain that to us? Yes, Senator. So the, um, the operation going forward is a very uncertain, unpredictable, and very fluid situation. And so that being said, we really don't know um, for sure what our costs are going to look like and, and what the timing is going to be with regards to expending the funds. Um, our request is based on um, past expenditures um, that we have already made and then taking an average of that, what the quarterly expenses was and trying to project that going forward. So these numbers represent our best projections of what we think it could be, but um, given the dynamic and fluid nature of the operation, um, we're, we're not um, certain of, of what the actual expenses are gonna look like. So um, for personal services, the 2.8, that is in regards to Overtime, manpower, additional resources. That is correct. Care, care officers. That is correct. What's, what would 300000 in 20 and 500000 in 21 be for other current expenses? So the other current expenses would be for um, things like uh, equipment costs. Um, there are um, costs relating to fuel, to supplies that we need um, on the ground. Um, in, in order to properly operate in that environment. And so um, that's um, what, what those numbers would reflect. And what would be equipment? 100,000 in 20 and 200,000 in 21. So we do have to provide um, the necessary uh, equipment such as cold weather gear, um, tents, uh, tables with which to operate in that environment. Um, in that austere location. We, we basically have to um, bring some infrastructure in there so that our personnel can operate safely and, and um, um, efficiently. On the, so I'm looking at table four um, under the budget decisions. I guess it's page 18 of 76 of the document that, uh, that 76 page document at the end of your PowerPoint that you provided to the committee. How does the overtime and other payroll, the 900, the other expenses, 500, and the equipment, 100, uh, get molded into the page 824 executive supplemental budget breakdown for the, the two adjustments? I'm trying to figure that out. Sorry, can you, can you question this? So I'm looking at two documents. One of them is it's uh, page 18 of the page 1 through 76 document that you provided to the committee. It was the document after the PowerPoint presentation. It would be table four on the budget decisions. Mm -hmm. Under Dole Care, it's a top line, LNR 405. Was, was, that, uh, was that DLNR's request? The initial department request to the governor and then DNF and the governor left it blank. Is that what they had done? Yes. Okay, so then the governor's what right, he right. sent to so the, the legislature. The left column is initial department request and the right column is the final governor's decision. So the initial department request, total department request was 1.5 million for 20. That was the initial request, yes. And the governor provided 3.2 million. Correct. And was there a request for 21 from the department? No. But the governor put in 5.5 million. Yeah, this was the initial. So obviously, in Almost 10 times more what the department had asked for is what the governor has put into the budget. 
$8.7 million when the department has $1.5 million. Do you have any idea, or have you talked to the executive branch to figure out why the additional $7.2 million? We can, we can get back to you on that. It just seems like a lot of money when we've already spent over $10 million on Mauna Kea, and it just doesn't seem like we have any plan well, again, it's a, all it's branches a of government of what we're going to go The situation is, you know, unclear, unclear about how long this is going to go on and what, it, what, it's, going to, what it's going to take, so it's sort of best guess. Okay. Any questions on it? I guess in, in, in just just as a follow up, because yesterday we we um, had a hearing with the attorney general's office, and they also put in money for enforcement. So I'm just wondering how the different agencies are coordinating. Um, you know, but the this use of force. Have been a question for the governor's office. So when we had the governor's office, mm -hmm. these are the kind of questions that are more appropriate for the governor's office. Because if sure. you if you look at what the department asked for versus what the governor approved or disapproved. The time is to ask the governor's office, why did you do that? If not, the departments are just going to second guess. Yeah. 